Today we're gonna to be working on 2011 Chevy Silverado. We're gonna be doing a backup camera, the rear TV screens, and a double dim Pioneer radio. All this was previously installed in a Cadillac SRX. So now we're transferring over into this truck. So we had to get a new kit. He ended up cutting out the, uh, the old camera in half. So we got him a new camera here. And they should slide right into the seats, no problem. Right now it's pretty stock. He has a radio already in here. And now we're gonna have to fix a problem with this one. However, they have it wired, who have previously installed it. You actually have to turn it off with the truck because it doesn't turn off like it's supposed to. So we're gonna have to fix that problem also, which shouldn't be nothing too bad. But if we get lucky, since the previously, previously, can't talk, previous radio was installed in a GM already, this harness might work in this truck, which then will just retain the, uh, give us an ignition switch and make it real easy. So if we can use this harness, we will. If not, we'll have to run our own. Not a big deal. But yeah, we're gonna get to work. Uh, installs like this, I like to start back to front. So we'll probably start with the backup camera. Run that on underneath all the way into the front. Once we get the backup camera wires ran down on the floor, we'll probably jump back here, do the headrest, drop the wires down, run them around. Once we get those in, backup camera, all the wires up here, we'll go ahead and pull out the radio and rewire the radio, start doing what we gotta do, and run the wires up into the dash. And then it should be, it's pretty simple install. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but take you along on the ride. So that's what we got right now. So let me get situated and uh, be back. So pretty much what we have here, we got the camera, I'm gonna mount it. We're in the license plate, facing down. So we got the wire ran, just drop down here. So pretty much you need three wires, two ran to the front. We're gonna take a purple wire, Tap it in to the reverse. We gotta look that up. Tap the purple wire into the reverse, run it all the way to the radio. Tap it on the purple white on the radio. You're gonna have a red, which is gonna be the power, which goes into the camera harness. That needs to go all the way to the front also. And then we're gonna have the black, who taps into the camera harness down here. And we're gonna attach that to the frame somewhere back here where we found like, feel like is a good, uh, good spot underneath. We're sanding it off and ground it. So pretty basic. Reverse wire here, red wire there, black wire to the frame. And it also has the RCA you got to run up there too. So that's what we got so far. Okay, so on this truck's the green, is the reverse in the middle of the green, is the positive. So we got that T tapped. And we got the purple coming out. Got about 20, 25 feet. All we're gonna do now is pop this head back in. Real simple. Has little tabs on the side. screws one two put this back in your light's good to go okay so something we want to stress is run running these wires you want to leave a little bit of slack just in case you need to pull the license plate back out or pull the tail light back out you want to have a little bit of slack there still so you can actually pull it out if it's pulled tight you're not gonna be able to pull a wire out or pull the headlight out it's gonna tail light and it's gonna rip the wire out so you want to leave a little bit of slack we got our ground right here, sanded it down. Doesn't need to be anything too special. So now that we kind of got everything situated, now it's time to start running them to the front and we're gonna wanna follow along like a line or something, something that's hidden, you're not gonna see. All the way down until you get under about the driver's door and that's when you're gonna wanna poke up into the cab. Um, but before we do anything else or go any farther, we wanna start cleaning up these wires. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Tape them up, get them looking decent. You don't want a bunch of random wires. You need to at least make them look good, even though you're not gonna see them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna start running along this line right here, go up under, all the way down. All right. So we got the wire ran all the way down, coming in this factory grommet. Ran all the way under the carpet. 
up to here. So now all we're gonna have to do is pop it right up to the radio. But like I said earlier at the beginning, we're done with this part for now. Now it's time to move on to the headrest. We're gonna have to pack, pop off the back of these, which should be pretty simple. Should slide down, pop out, I think pull up, just like that, real easy. So it's like slide down, pop the front out, top out, and pull up, simple. But, all right, we're gonna do that the other one. Take these out, start wiring, drop wires down, run them up to the front like that, get going. Okay, we got one screen in. So all you really need to do here, I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand. Want to try? Take this wire here. Put it down this hole. Pull this through. So all you do is drop this cord down. This little hole goes right through. Line up your posts. You drop it in. On um, these ones to get it to go in at first, there's a little pick hole. Kind of push that in to get it to drop. The same thing as getting the old ones out to get them out all the way. You have to get this out and then also put a pick in this little hole. They come right out. And then anyways, you should drop it right down. Just like that. So we got screens back there. Now what we're gonna do is just zip tie these along somewhere. Figure out how we wanna run the wires. Probably gonna run them under the carpet each side here up along the pillars something clean sometimes you can splice them over to there but we're probably gonna run individual wires up to the radio and splice them back there okay so we got the wire ran through the side over here up under the carpet ran through here with the wires it's wrapped up here with the loom we got a zip tied Something crucial to make sure you do is make sure you don't zip tie it too tight. Make sure the seat can go all the way forward and all the way back without the wire being too tight and restricting the seat. So we did that already. Perfect. So it comes up under here. We got to pull back the seat a little bit. It comes along here with the loom. You got to tuck it up under here. And we got it ran through here. And hooked into our screen so now this side is you just put the back back on so now over here you have your RCAs we have to run RCAs up to the radio you got video 1 and video 2 we're going to use video 1 so one RCA and then you got the left and right audio and then you got power and the ground we're going to ground the ground up here to the frame red up there to the radio but do it on this side and do it on the other side, mirror image. So that's what we got so far. Okay, so we got this side done. We got them color coded here. We got the black one with the yellow, that's gonna be the video. Blue with white, orange with red. And then we got the ground here. You know, notice nice and sanded. No paint, gonna get a good connection. Now all we gotta do is run these wires along the carpet, just right up over here do the other side that's gonna be time to take the radio out and get everything ran up in the dash we got all the wires down here ready to go up in the dash get the left seat monitor right seat monitor and the backup camera it looks like a mess but it's not that bad now it's time to take the radio out this dash is relatively easy all it is it clips all the way around i wish i could do this on camera but you know i'm a single man so pretty much just start, start from the top get your pry tool up there Pry it around. You gotta be careful down here because there is a little lip. But what I do is I just pop this out. You can see the little lip that goes behind it. You need to put the parking brake on, drop the shifter, and then you should be able to finagle it out, pull the top and kind of wiggle it out. So when you put it back in, same way. But uh, other than that, there shouldn't be any plugs in this. You're gonna have the uh, cigarette plug, so probably just gonna let this sit down. No big problem with it. We'll show you when uh, we get there. And just like that, we got it pulled out, popped it all the way out. Now we can just let it sit down like this. No need to unplug that out of the way. No, uh, seven or eight mils, I can't remember. Pull this out. You got to pull this out first, and then this comes right out. Um, then you just have to rewire everything. We got the radio pulled out. 
and uh, looking at these connections if you ever did this before definitely don't recommend doing that they're just taped up connections as you can see the yellow and reds jump together so that's why it doesn't turn on or off with the car but um, these plugs right here are the same as these ones on this harness that I wired in the last car so we don't even have to rewire anything we just have to clean up this harness a little bit which is awesome and saves a lot of time this right here is the uh, bypass harness to watch videos while you're driving so there's that but like I said we're gonna clean this up take this out we got to run the wires up and we got to drop the USB cord into the glove box and we have to run the microphone and then hook everything up and that's probably about it we're not too far away but yeah don't wire radios like this ever Okay, this is what we're working with right now. So we got all the RCs down here. Grouped up how they're supposed to be. We got the harness fixed, looks better. Got the remote wire right here. Got all the ignition wires tapped in. We have all these extra RCAs. So I ran them over here, we have all the space back here. So once we get the radio in here, we'll be able to tie up all the slack, zip tie it and tuck it in there. It's game plan. We have the new dash kit on. Uh, and then I was ran up here. It's all hidden. Don't see nothing. We got the USB dropped in here. Ran around. So we got the mic. We got the antenna. We got the RCAs. We got the uh, backup camera. So right now it's time to start plugging away. And the hardest part of this install is getting all this to fit back here. So I'm going to try to tuck it back in the hole and hope for the best. But yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be fun, but we we'll get to so it. So we got everything plugged in back here. Before we go any farther, making anything else pretty, before we put the radio in, you always want to check it because if something's not hooked up right, last thing you want to do is pop everything in, struggle tucking the wires away. As you can see, the radio's on. Go ahead and hit the backup cam. So that's working. Well, you're probably wondering why we're back here now. So this is why you always check everything before you put everything away and make it nice. Um, everything worked, but I think this is interfering with the sound in here. That the sound sounds like shit. It's it's not playing how it's supposed to. And I think it's because this doesn't have a Bose system. I didn't think it would really matter, but this must be something going on interfering with the factory system. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this up, and we're gonna put the basic harness in right here. Uh, at least there would be less stuff in the dash. It kind of sucks having to do this, but that's on me. It happens. No big deal. But we're gonna get taken care of, and uh, yeah, a little delay, not big. Okay, so we got the other harness wired up. Um, we had to run an ignition for that one, so this ran to the fuse box up in the hood. But uh, everything works. The radio actually works properly this time. That was the only thing that worked last time. Well, there's that. Turn it off before you get copyrighted. Got the wires. got left here just put that on well that's it all done do a little walk through and uh, be it you got the camera right here it's kind of the center line of the truck so help line that up Come over here the TV screens playing, got some cars going.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Be more content to come. You can find me on Snapchat on Sullivan Designs. You can find me on Instagram, Sullivan Designs underscore audio. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.